All right. Hello and good evening, everyone. We're back in Spare Room Studio tonight to, to continue our Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion story, the Sassanid stories. So, without further ado, let's jump in, do a quick recap, and then continue the campaign. Might see a little bit of flashing on your screen. Totally normal. I'll fix my microphone here. There we go. Okay. Continuation of the campaign. Summer of 397 AD. Alright, so, where we picked up our story, where we last left it, we had two generals here. Mighty General! General Kobat was besieging Antioch and was running low on troops, particularly spearmen, so we had dispatched Mighty General. another army, led by General... Uh, I'm gonna call him Jan Hengir. Yeah, that sounds about right. And he had uh, helped come out here, won some pretty good battles, and helped clear up the rear flank. So, uh, keeping our army here Mighty safe General. and keeping it on Antioch so that we keep the pressure on the siege. Now, we still have some Eastern Roman Empire troops that are down here. We've got Who our assassin who's working on a few items here. Potentially some family members here. We might be able to bump them off later. Meanwhile, in Hatcher, we've got a pretty solid defense here, as you can tell by my banner, almost fully blue there. Getting some building going. We've got our spy out here. I serve your will. Checking on the Eastern Empire, making sure that they're not trying to drop anything behind our lines. In fact, it might be helpful to uh, move him back this way. Moving out of moves, Get him over in this area so that we can at least see if someone's going to try to do a surprise attack on Kotes. Kotes, fairly well armed for the small settlement that it is. We had some action up here earlier. Sire! Which is why we've got our garrison troops out in the field. They'll be moving back to the city here shortly. That way we can get them retrained and refreshed. As you can see, we still have some retraining to do there, fixing up some units. Mighty General! We've got a general coming down here to our capital, which is probably in need of some troops since we've been transferring quite a few of them out of the city uh, in support of the campaign over near Antioch. And we still can't retrain anyone because nobody lives here, so we'll work on that. But we've got some barbarian troops here. I mean, peasants, so it's not really that big a deal. Prepare for battle! We just clean them up like that. Victory is ours, mighty one! Forward! I'm not too worried about peasants. However, this army back here has got some teeth to it, so... Rebel general? Yeah, that's nothing to take too lightly. Just gotta be careful Sire! and maneuver around. Thankfully, they're not exactly on the road, but we'll dispatch an army eventually to get that cleaned up. All right. Let's continue the story, shall we? Looks like the Eastern Empire is bringing up some reinforcements. Who shall die this day? We Death the herd stalks of it. him. Swing and a hit. That's one less general to deal with. Uh, losing a little bit of money. Uh, here's the question. They've got heavy troops. And a general bodyguard, potentially. Sire! It's gonna be tough. Antioch has one more turn to surrender. They don't have a lot of troops. Sire! I think we can take the walls. Engage the enemy! Let's start tonight with a siege. Kobad versus Equitus Flavius. He doesn't have much in terms of garrison, so hopefully we'll be able to take the settlement. There are many roads to victory. 
Today our road lies through the enemy's ranks. Show no mercy as you cut them down! Soldiers, prepare to defend yourselves! Await my orders! Siege equipment. All right, our siege equipment is automatically deployed. We know that. However, the trick to winning this battle is going to be getting enough troops on the walls to not only take the walls, but more importantly, to take the towers. March! Here's the concern that I've got. We're deploying extremely close to the wall, which I am not exactly a big fan of. The reason for that is they're going to be able to shoot at us with their towers long before we are going to be able to climb the walls. If I deploy down here, well, it means a long march under heavy, heavy fire. Forward. Means I'm going to put my slingers down this way. Move out! Move out! Dear man! Dear man! All right, we'll set them to loose. Units! Loose formation! Fire at will! Ooh, almost had a sneeze there. Okay, for the units that are not going to be besieging, I am not going to send anyone to the front gates unless I know that my siege towers are not going to hold it because I've got all this cavalry and uh, they're going to do nothing unless I can get on the walls. Units. Yeah, no. Don't want you guys holding any rams. Oh, you know what? You can... Keep the ram, all right. Everybody's in loose formation. Let's get everybody on those walls. Our contingency plan. Back to our general. It does not look like they are intending to defend the towers which is good for us. I don't see anybody up on the wall. If I take a peek behind. No. Got their general bodyguard and some archers, but other than that, nobody. Just gotta keep track and make sure that my siege towers don't catch fire. If they do, I need to get the men away from that before it collapses. These are pretty big walls. Alright, take this to fire. Fourteen percent damage. Nothing on that one. Eight percent there. How are the slingers doing? The siege towers are at touched. the walls! Perfect. And our men stand ready to take this city with swords and fire! Swords and fire? Actually, that sounds like fun. 18% damage. It's taken almost a fifth of its health. However, we're going to continue getting pelted by this gate here if we don't get men up there. Can we hurry up, boys? Just sitting in harm's way. Your siege towers are at the enemy walls! Now your men must open a way into the city! Like, hurry up and get in the tower before the ballista shoot you to pieces. Lost 4% of our army and we haven't even engaged them yet. Alright, looks like everybody's safely inside though. Um, are we going in the tower? Now they're going in. All right. Oh shoot! They're continue to hit that tower. It's twenty-four percent. Yeah, they're hitting it. Thirty percent. All right. Thankfully. Hurry up and take that gate. Your 
Your men have taken the walls. Now the way to your victory is clear. Let's take that other those couple towers here. Once we get the towers taken, there's nothing holding back our lovely cavalry from doing their job. Okay, cavalry are here. There's one man down there. Alright, time to figure out how to get to this town square. This giant plaza that runs through half of it. Looks like the most direct path might be to go along this way. So, Slingers, I'm going to need you to take that gate. Alright, everybody else is moving in, which is good. Oh, wait, nope, there is a more direct path. Sorry, guys. Let's get all of our men off the walls. I forgot. Looks like they've got a nice archway right down the center of Main Street here. And this is the walking simulator part, so we'll speed this up a tad. Oh, well, there goes the one archer. Could even hit unpause before he died. Alright, we captured a whole bunch of stuff. Slingers are a little tired. Units form up! Let's get our spearmen going. Get everybody moving. Main Street is coming up next. They're, they're just archers. One man to beat. Perfect. Alright, we want to make sure that we plug off that entrance. What we're going to do... Oh, is that... Ah, uh, no, it's not an avenue. I was hoping those rows connected. Nice for my cavalry to flank. Alright, we still have... we need cavalry to move. Alright, we've got a little bit of heavy infantry and the general's bodyguard. Let's wait for everybody to get here. Warm up, everybody. Units! 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 Move out! Archers are you in range? 
Perfect. Slinger's not quite in range, but that's okay. Gammers! Units, march! Archer! Let's take as many pot shots as possible. Spearman with 11 kills. Not bad. Antioch is ours. Glorious victory! Settlement captured! Exterminate the population. Resistance is futile. We got a lot of troops that need to be retrained, that is for sure. But look at that hit to our coffers. 28,000 denarii. It's huge. Now one thing we do need to do is uh, address this. Christian Basilica. Sorry. I know what that means. We're going to have some issues, but uh, we're going to start to convert it slowly. 97% Christian, and we just knocked down their church. They're not going to be too happy with us. Sire! Engage the enemy! Victory is ours, mighty one! For this, engage the enemy! Not too worried about that. Not too worried about that. Let's take them. Let's clear off some of these Romans. Today is a day for brave deeds, so that our fame will be known from one end of the world to another. Wherever men admire courage, our names will be known. <laughs> Watch for the enemy, watch for tricks, watch for their cunning, and send them to their ancestors! Sounds like a solid plan. Alright. Await my orders! That is a giant rock, right in the middle of my formation, which is not helpful. Units! We're gonna take the upside of the hill. Units! So if we have Move to walk, we're gonna walk down the hill. Archers! On our way! 
General! Forward! Units! Units! Guard position! Alright, so guard position. So nobody uh, runs Units off. Crew. General! Cavalry. Units for Units! Fire at me! The enemy right. have proved their cowardice. They have reinforcements. As if numbers mattered. Well, let's not uh, get too Units. egotistical here. Move up. When you surround an enemy, always leave an avenue for escape. Given no possibility of escape, routing men will stand and fight to the death. Yeah, and when they fight to the death, it's not a good thing because they become a lot more powerful. Because as our military advisor will point out, desperate men can be dangerous men. Let's see if they actually stand and fight or they're gonna run away. We definitely have numbers on our side. Units, march! <laughs> That other Roman arm. Oh, there they are. Looks like they're gonna try to combine forces. Units, forward! Oh, they're gonna start harassing us. that general's bodyguard unit. Heavily armored troops with shields have good defense against arrow fire. Use arrows against more light. shows his value. He is filled only by a desire to save his own skin. I think they might be able to make it out. We're picking them off pretty good, but... The enemy flee! Chase them from the field and give them no rest or pity! Yeah, they ran off. Units! 
run down the rest of their heavy infantry. Well, not to let them survive. The peasants, not as worried about. left guys including their commander victory is yours and no one can argue that it is not both well deserved and worthy we got them 384 deployed 366 remain they are able to get their general off the field though killer of the day at looks like 59 our heavy cavalry, number seven. Victory is ours, mighty one! All right. We're able to clear that board. Mighty general! Engage the enemy! Auto resolve. Glory that, not much left victory. for them. victory! Orders? Who shall die this day? More spearmen built, which is good. Sire! And we cannot sneak by that guy. Forward! Have to back. No more moves, sire. Just don't have the troops to go chase him right now. And we don't have the population. Although, how are we doing this town? Now we can up the tax rate a little bit. Actually start building in some of our towns My now. Leash. Start recovering some of our troops. It's a key win. Everywhere is built. Perfect. Much needed Denari inflow. Mighty General! Rioting! Unacceptable. Forward! Out of moves, great lord! Not acceptable. Oh, hello. I'll use another spearman. Or this assassin ready. He shall be extinguished. Can we, uh, take him off the board. Do I have Empire Total War? What faction am I? Oh, John's world. Is it John's world or John's? Yeah, John's world. Um, yeah, so, do I have Empire Total War? Yes, I have Empire Total War. Um, what faction am I? Uh, right now I'm playing as the Sassanids. Which, we're working on the Eastern Roman Empire here, trying to take them out. Thankfully we're taking family members as well. Who would suspect such a man? Right before they die. Our allies, okay, West. Allied with the Huns, interesting. Antioch, okay. Got our shrine built. My lead! Fortunately, our troops are getting pretty darn tired. They just keep bringing over more and more troops. Alright, heavy infantry. We've got some spearmen. Eh, not bad. But I need to swap. Do you recommend Rome Total War? Absolutely. Um, been playing this game really ever since it came out in the early to mid-ish 2000s. I think the original version of Rome, uh, which this game is built on, came out in, I think, 2004 or so. And then Barbarian Invasion came out in 2005. And then you had uh, Alexander, which I do have. Haven't gotten a chance to play yet. Um, but that one came Mighty out in, uh, I think, 2006. But yeah, definitely recommend Rome. Uh, the new Rome is fun too. I just like this one so much better because 
I know more about it. <laughs> I can tell a better story. Alright, we have a siege here at Antioch, which is not good. Alright, what have I got here? I've got my liege, spearmen. My liege, sire! Onward! No Get more moves, sire! Here. Atra, do we need more spearmen? Yeah, we probably need a couple more spearmen. Okay. Sire! The question is, if they are going to besiege my settlement, do I want to attack them out in the field, or do I want to try to retrain this? They've got really one, two, three units that I'm worried about. How much cavalry do I have in here? Oh, yeah, I should be fine. My liege! We'll get some rest, guys. We need you retrained. Forward! else needing our attention. Oh, let's move our spy. I serve your will, unseen, unheard, out of moves, sire. In confident command. You're 16 to date my, or marry my 16-year-old daughter? Sure. Forty-seven, and you have like one little bit of management. What have you been doing with your life? Oh, here they come. My liege. Let's get those spearmen in there and prepare the defenses. Mighty general. Forward. Mighty general. Don't worry, it's all for one turn. this forward uh, should I get medieval total war or Rome total war um really depends I've played the original medieval total war it's a fun game I mean the graphics certainly don't stand up to anything today they still used a lot of 2d sprites uh, in medieval total war still a fun game though if you like this turn-based strategy type stuff really a fun game but um, I'm partial to Rome that's the one that I play so I'd clearly tell you to go, rec I'd recommend you to go play it, but uh, Medieval, solid game. I definitely enjoyed it. Right, we've got a profit problem. I'm making a lot of money. Alright. Some revenue. Ooh, we've got some stuff that's built. Good, good, good. Uh, do we have anything? Grand Bazaar. I am burning through this Denari like it's going out of style. about Napoleon Total War? Um, you know, I have never played Napoleon Total War simply because to me it seemed like it was very similar to Empire Total War, just with a slightly different era to it. So I never really did get into that one quite as much. But I would imagine Napoleon is very similar to Empire, so I would pick one of the one of the two that you'd like. Are anyway, spend a denarii like a drunken sailor here. Okay. Oh boy, how, what do we have in the field here? Rather, who do I have in the field left? Money diplomat. I kill to please. He shall be extinguished. There we go. Let's take out another family member. I swear, this one assassin has done more damage. You shall die this day. However many armies. I mean, look at this guy. Master assassin. Man's plots are invisible webs. With his keen mind, he can untangle any foreign conspiracy. He's 67 years old and dropping bodies like they're going out of style. Ah. If you've already got Empire, I imagine the transition from Empire to Napoleon is probably pretty similar. Um, but yeah, having not played it, I, I can't tell you for sure. Alright, we've got... We're going to have quite 
the siege on our hands. Alright, they're retraining. We're gonna retrain the last of those guys. It's gonna take two turns for any other cavalry. Oh, damn, armored camel raiders. That kinda looks cool. Cavalry. So I can I ah oh, I can't build. Nope, don't have royal barracks yet. Okay. All right, so I'll go for the heavy cavalry route. Ten thousand denarii. Spent all that stuff that I got. Man, what are we doing up here? Oh good, everybody is back to normal. I don't need this giant garrison just My liege. parked up here. Sire, orders? March! No more moves, sire. Okay. Orders! I mean, that's quite the uh, defensive unit there, but I don't want to send them out just yet. And they're going to try to surround me. Ah, lovely. Troops are done. My support units are back. Onward! Out of moves, great lord! My liege! Move out! Mighty general! Onward! Train the general. And what else can I build here? Oh, you know what? I should have sent Sire! These guys. Forward! More heavy cavalry. Alright, what else do I need? I've got lots of spearmen. I don't have any archers in this unit. That would be good. Yeah, that's a tough one. The Napoleonic question is there. It likes the Napoleonic era, but also likes the Revolutionary War. That's a tough one. I mean, for me, they're like the technology between them is pretty similar in terms of the, the musket fires, the cannons. Um, the formations. So to me, they're they're very similar. Unlike Rome, where Rome is very much a there's not a lot of like long range. I mean, you have archers, you have slingers, you have peltists, but really, it's more hand to hand cavalry type combat. I like that more personally, but that's just me. Holy profit loss, Batman! We ran a little over budget. And my diplomat died. All right, down a diplomat. One of the things I should start doing though is building a new spy and assassin. That way I can start uh, branching out a little bit. My liege. Let's get these troops down here. March. No more moves, sire. That would be kind of cool. A Rome, uh, or not a Rome, but a total war game in the 18th century. I know they've kind of at least uh, Activision and uh, Total War, they've kind of focused in on... Um, I mean, they did Rome Total War 2, they've got their um, Total Warhammer. But yeah, like a Civil War game, that would actually be really cool. Like, the American Civil War, Total War. I think that would be cool, just to be like, focus in on like, the North American continent. And then you could do different DLC if you wanted to do like, you know, um, different wars around that time period uh, that you could get into. I think it would be kind of cool, like, but we'll see. Hopefully they'll do something Who like shall that. die this day? He's a dead man. Oh, a swing and a miss. Man, losing your touch. My liege. All right. Ooh, the Eastern Empire rebels. Looks like they're taking over. All right. I'm liking this. A little disruption going on. I really don't like that that army just sitting there. Engage the enemy! I feel like I've got a better chance out in the open field. I don't think the assassins are very good at defending settlements. Today is a good day to die. But better still to live and tell our grandchildren of brave deeds and braver men! 
let's live to tell our grandchildren about this. The key to victory is to make yourself invulnerable and wait for the enemy's moment of vulnerability. Invulnerability lies in defense and... All right. Make ourselves Units. invulnerable. That's going to be tough. Now, we have Units. the numbers. And we Units. need to be smart about how we use them. One way that I'm going to do that is layering my spearmen. So, I know that the Romans have superior infantry, and I'm not going to be able to beat them in a one-on-one -on -one conflict. But what I can do is make the bulk of my forces a lot more compact. That gives me a couple of advantages. One, I don't have to protect the flanks. Two, if my lines get broken, I've got support troops that I can send in behind to quickly rectify the situation. If I have one giant line and my lines get broken, it's way too easy to just crimp off, you know, 120 men and just slaughter them. Now the benefit I have here is keeping my general in the center of my defense. Keep my men a little bit happier. And I've got enough heavy cavalry on my flanks so that I can use them as my screeners. And then finally in the back, I've got my camel raiders. Their job is just simply to go chase down anyone that is running away. No, oh, they're over there. On a hill. They decided to deploy on the hill. Figures. Don't start your attack by engaging the enemy's elite troops. In a perfect battle, you would rout their army without fighting them at all. That's what you could do if you have a lot of missile troops. Let's wait for the formations to work themselves out here. In fact, I forgot to make my groups. Units form up! Units! Right flank. Units group! Left flank. Units group! And archers. Units group! Units! Fire at will! Units! Fire at will! Units! Alright, now that we've got everybody in position. Let's start marching. We've got a little bit of an advantage here in numbers, but they've got the hill. Are they... are they running? Units, forward! Aw, oh, you cowards! Cowards! Yeah, their general just beat it. Yeah, they've completely left the battlefield. Victory! Well, general was right about that one. No kills, no killer of the day, just a bunch of cowardly Romans taking a peek at what I've gotten and heading for the hills. Glorious victory! I am perfectly fine My with. March! I can back him off of Antioch a bit. Alright. Plus one when com commanding an attack, that could be helpful. Alright. Let's take our turn. Romans are falling back. The Ostr Ostrogoths. A new faction has arisen. If I remember correctly, the Goths are one of the few factions in this game that can spawn a new faction. Much like the Eastern Empire can give birth to the Eastern Empire rebels, the, Os the Goths can spawn the Ostrogoths, a splinter faction. Expansion. Definitely want to build that in. Retrain my troops here. Spending all my denarii again. And we've got more at war. Looks like the, uh, yep, Ostrogoths have split off from the Goths. And there we have it. A little civil war going on. All right. Now, since we're defending, we don't necessarily need all those troops to sit inside. I 
would like, though, is do we have our... Oh, no. We still need one more turn for those guys to show up. You're a pretty confident commander, four-star general. How are you? Two-star general at 42, and how old are you? 49. Eh, not bad. Okay. I've got... You're a one-star, you're a two-star. Jeez, my family is uh, not exactly uh, great at uh, developing talent. Who shall die this day? Think you can Death whack him? stalks him. There we go. Good night. Mighty general! Alright, I want to start branching out a little bit here and cutting off the bottom half of the Eastern Roman Empire. So, I could march and take Sidon. However, these guys are at war with me, but they're also kind of a buffer to the Eastern Roman Empire to the south. So, let's set our sights on Tarsus. Got some heavy troops, so we may need to take a loan of cavalry. Sire! Many cavalry do we have? Here? Mighty general! We've got three. Orders. March! How Mighty many general! We've got one, two, three, four, five spears. My liege! Onward! Combining troops! That should, should be pretty good, I would think, in a fight. Mighty general! I don't want to keep my archers and slingers in Antioch just as a buffer. All right, let's see if we can take them. Mighty general, prepare for battle. They're gonna stand and fight. Let's duke it out. Men, this battle is inevitable, but victory hangs in the balance. Act with courage, all noble soldiers, and victory is in our grasp! Right. On my orders! Same thing here. Don't want to have just one line of solid soldiers. Warriors. My warriors are heavy March. infantry, I believe. Yep, so I want to keep them in reserve. Units! 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 March! Units. March. Like a wedge with my warriors kind of plugging the middle. Forward! General! Horse archers are going to help defend the lines. Units! Units! Forward! Units! Units! Let's see, I got one of each, right? Units! 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 Crew! Flank! Units! The flank! Units! Crew! Cavalry! Units! Fire at will! General! Stand and fight! Units! Alright, guard positions, don't go chasing position. anybody. Heavy cavalry! Units! Ordering the whole army to attack throws away any chance of gaining an advantage. Units. Even if you have enough brute force to win, you will have lost many more men than you needed to. Very true. So brings about our strategy. Here's what we're going to do. Cataphracts are heavy cavalry, specifically meant to drive into uh, opposing infantry. So what we want to do is use our heavy cavalry here. These guys are going to help do some of the screening. We're going to send them along the left and the right flank with the idea that we get them behind the Romans. Meanwhile, our spearmen, they're pretty much just there to hold the line. They're not going to stand sword for sword with Roman infantry, particularly heavy Roman infantry. But if they can hold the line quick or for long enough, our cavalry should be able to make mid speed of anybody in their path. Hey, John's World, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you uh, checking out the stream. If you liked it, uh, definitely come back. We'll, we'll be doing the story again, again next week here. Units, so. take care, mate. Units, move up. All right, back in the march. Send our lines against them. Let's see, do they have any archers? Yes. They just have regular archers. So, as we start getting close. Units! Units! Double time! Units! Units! Run! Heavy cavalry start breaking off. Units! Main line. Continue to 
march forward. Units, you march! Move at the level, units! They're gonna send peasants? Cataphracts, cut them down. Down those spearmen. Slow. The enemy flee! Chase them from the field and give them no rest or pity! Charge! Get those spearmen out of here. Let's mop them up. And all the sweeter for being so decisive! Stand your ground! 926 deployed, 776 remain. Killer of the day coming in at 122, Cataphracts number 12. Love that heavy cavalry. Glorious victory! Ordez! We can even get some heavy troops in there. Assassin ready. Ordez! Prepare for battle! Besieging settlement, sir! Settlement no, under, siege, under siege, sir! Onagers. Nice. Love to get some of those guys on the field. Sire, forward. No more moves, sire. We're not going to be able to go around them. Uh-oh. 
<sighs> he was quite the devil. Did his job. Uh, how many he took out. There we go. Get a little bit of a higher tax rate. I actually uh, hope to start making some money one of these turns. I serve your will. Stealth is my cloak. Enemy brigands. We've got onagers built. Hello. Mighty general. Nothing says knock knock like a bunch of catapults, let me tell you what. <laughs> Alright, let's have our spy here. I serve your will. Moving. Moves depleted great oh, okay, lord. Sir. They're not too happy with the taxes. How much I can do? I gotta run an empire, folks. Gotta make money somehow. My ears are yours. Moving. Stealth is my cloak. Let's take a good sign up up there. I serve your will. Moving. Seen but unseen. Ooh, wow. That is a lot of infantry just sitting down there. It's going to be tough to take. Assassin, ready. He's dead. Uh, yeah, we're not trying to whack that guy. Little too difficult. Moving to position. No more moves. Sir, orders? Onagers. Move out. Love to add you to the army there. Particularly because uh, we can just lob rocks at him all day. Not much else we can do here. Moved our troops. Make me a proposal? Guess not. All right. Mighty general. Move out. No more moves, sire. All right. Let's see what's happened in the world. Western Empire rebels are allied with the Goths. The Goths and the Almani have. Ceasefire. My spy is doing well. Yeah, we made a little bit of money. That's good. We needed it. I kill to please you. Death stalks him. Yeah, my guess is that you're not going to be able to take care Death of that. Death stalks him. Alright, let's take out the temple instead. Alright. Build up his, uh... Oh, looks like the Western Empire rebels got kicked out of Sidon, but, uh, they must still hold a settlement. As their units are still on the map, they haven't turned full-on rebel yet. Sire! Attack! Right. Tarsus. Settlement under siege, sir. One, two, three, actually one, two, three, four, five units of heavy infantry. This is going to be tough. Engage the enemy! Let's assault. No, we're not going to auto-resolve this. we got to fight this one out on the battlefield. 
Victory loves prudence. Victory is near at hand! If all do their duty, we will profit from today. Bend your backs to your tasks, and all will be well! On my orders! Siege equipment is automatically... Oh yeah, we know about siege equipment. And you know what else we know about? Throwing rocks. Because we are going to throw a lot of rocks. How do we get to the town center? Where is it? There's like no roads in. I mean, the center's right there, but there's no roads over there. Oh wait, is that one all the way down here? Ah, uh, there is, but it doesn't go to the town square. Lovely. Means we're gonna have some walking ahead of us. Actually, I wonder, is it faster to deploy over here? Since I can actually see. Road link up and go to the center? It does. I think we're actually gonna break our way in on this side. Units, move out! Ah! Okay. Units, march! Rem! 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 Alright. Got our rams. I'm not too and worried again. about them. is we are going to blast down that wall and any of the towers that are there with the intention of cracking it open like a big nut. Meanwhile... Cataphracts! Units! Units group! Units group! Anagers! Fire at will! Fire at will! Anagers! Be wary of firing your artillery when you have siege engines ahead of you. You risk destroying your own men, too. Oh, I'm aware. And I have no intention of hitting my own men. What we intend to do is... Well, that actually went a lot faster than I anticipated. I thought that those towers would be a little more straight. Rim. position. Rim. Anagers. Destroy them. Ramming position. Anagers. Attack. Rim. Drop the rim. Lob and rocks. Good hit on that one. Good job, Onagers. Start walking in that direction. down their tower. Actually, stop. 
Not when I've got my own catapults walking in front of them. Would not be a good idea. Your soldiers and the battling ram are at the walls! Now comes the test of their courage! Oh, there we go. Now we can start flinging rocks at people. Don't hit the buildings, hit the, hit the units. Meanwhile, we continue to knock at their gates. Almost got him with the rock. Free fire. Ooh, nice hit. Oh, don't hit my men. The soldiers are through the enemy walls. Show no mercy. Order them to finish the defenders. Your siege weapons have knocked through a section of the enemy settlement's walls. Divert your heaviest troops to attack the breach. Without haste, the defenders will be ready and your advantage lost. Catapult. rock can kill a lot of enemy troops, but it's hard to hit anything smaller than a settlement wall with these machines. Target dense concentrations of enemy units so that you hit something even if it wasn't what you aimed at. I love that. Spears, go get them. Let's it is possible to set a light artillery ammunition to rain fire and death down upon the enemy. Flaming ammunition has reduced accuracy but is more devastating when it lands and has a greater effect on morale. Left click the show me how button to see how to do this. Unfortunately since I've got too many troops very very close to my position, flaming ammunition is not the way I want to go right now. Oh, there we go. A couple rocks in there. Yeah. 
Rogers, danger close. You guys can enter Units. the city if you Move can up. actually make it. General! Cavalry! Cavalry! Units form up! Units! Double Units! Double. Units! Charge! They're peasants! Peasants and peasants. All right, we know what we're up against.
not be losing to peasants. Units! Airmen! Quickly! Airmen! Airmen! Get out! Units! 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 Come! What is your work? There we go. Now we're running through them. The guards fell like upon you today! There. The enemy general has been killed and his men lose heart. Seven hundred remain. Killer of the day at one hundred and four. Cataphrax number twelve. Onagers even got in on a little bit there. Thirteen and eight, not bad. Well placed rock. Can do some damage. And Tarsus is ours. Settlement capture. This is ours. Sire, orders, mighty general, mighty general, march, my liege, sire, my liege, orders, mighty general. Swap some units here. Stonewall, definitely. Well, we're starting to build ourselves a little bit Assassin of a buffer. Assassin, ready. He's a dead man. Nope, got kicked out as soon as he got in. They're dealing with rebels. Made some money, which is good. Sire! Sire! Mighty General! Orders! Sire! Antioch helping us buoy our uh, economy a little bit. Tarsus is coming around nicely. A lot of Christianity, though. 99% Christian. I'm gonna wait for those walls to be built, and then we can go ahead and uh, start knocking them out there. Alright, good news is... We've taken two cities, and we've started to choke off the bottom half of the Eastern Empire. I'd love to just march down in here and take over all of this land of what is current the uh, Egypt and the uh, Sinai or the uh, the peninsula down here. We've got a couple cities that we need to take, but look at that army. Oof. That Assassin ready. Death stalks him. He's dead. You're not a very good assassin. Death approaches. Like really not good. He's a dead man. All right, one in five. Swing and a miss. At least you didn't kill yourself. Mm. 
Mighty General. Fix those troops there. All right, we've got a lot of troops, and we need something to do with them. Oof. Man, it's a lot of denarii. It's spending like it's going out of style. My ears are yours. Seeing but unseen. I'd like to just make sure that we don't have anyone sneaking up from behind us there. My liege! Onward! Making money. Hey, we're the most advanced faction. That's a good sign. Sire, mighty general. Onward! Mighty general! Onward! Joining forces! Mighty General, Sire, my liege. Mighty General, orders, 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 onward! Mighty General, Mighty General, forward! Sire, my liege, move out! Antioch not happy all of a sudden here. Orders, forward! Mighty General! I don't need all those troops just sitting back there doing Sire. nothing. Sire, march! Form a new besieging army. And take the fight down here to Sidon. I think that's how you pronounce it. Meanwhile, the immediate threat on Hatra is over, so we can start pushing some of these troops out there. Orders? Sire! Orders? My liege! Mighty General! March! Nothing really we need over there. As much as I'd like to build, I'd like to keep some something in my wallet here in case we need to build uh, another army. What might be nice to have, though, is a fleet. Build ships. We can. Hmm. Diplomats on the march. Ooh, I see a big army. I serve your will. I don't know what that Spying. guy has. A lot of heavy infantry. Wait, Tarsus has finished that stone wall, which is going to be extremely important. Oh, build some archers. Well, at least we have something to defend ourselves with. Sire! March! Uh, give some extra benefit to those the defenders of Tarsus. My lead! You, on the other hand, are going to move south. I kind of want to attack the brigands, but at the same time, kind of a waste. Engage the enemy! Victory! Engage the enemy! Glorious victory! My lead! Engage the enemy! Alright, we have onagers. Let's take them out. Sometimes throwing rocks at things is fun. Take up your spears! We must await my orders! And we are on a hill. Not exact, and we're gonna have to walk uphill. Great. <laughs> Not my favorite, but. Warriors! Archers! 
Suggested plan of action. Attack the enemy center with missile troops, but from the flanks. When they run out of ammunition, send in your heaviest troops to finish the job. That'll be the idea. Although, I would love to throw rocks at them. Because lobbing rocks is a lot of fun. Onagers fire large rocks and are mainly intended for use against walls and buildings. They can cause casualties amongst troops too. Oh, I'm counting on it. That's why we aim for the center and hope that we hit something. rest of my troops, the intent that we're going to charge in on these guys, hopefully the onagers get a couple hits on them. Ooh, that looks like a direct hit. Another indirect hit. Ooh, there we go. That's why we like onagers. General. Archers are in range. Units, march! Units, march! Units! Units! Move out! Move out! Move out! Units! Units! Gage the general! Managers, danger close.
couple of them down here. I don't think we're going to be able to catch them. Get the Vex! Clean up the ones we can hit. I mean, they're only peasants, but you know what? Still want them gone. Victory is yours! And no one can argue that it is not both well deserved and worthy! Gentlemen! 1046 deployed, 1014 remain. Killer of the day at 67, our heavy cavalry, number 12. A lot of number 12s here. Glorious victory! Mighty general, engage the enemy! No, just peasants. There's the main bulk work. And a legionary eagle. I want that eagle. We can take him here. This is the whole city garrison. Men, come up on my orders. All right, same idea, guys. Units, units, crew. First action. General, move out. Units, units, form up. Right flank, units. left flank. Units, form up. Heavy cavalry. Units, fire. General, stand and fight. Mer, 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 mer. Units, units, crew. units. Guard position! All right. Let's see who they brought the enemy play. have proved their cowardice. Units. They have reinforcements. As if numbers matter. When you outnumber the enemy greatly, you should surround them and destroy them utterly. Show no mercy. No, oh, I had no intention of showing mercy. I have every intent of showing them large rocks. By throwing them at them. Missile cavalry.
enemy cavalry are readying an attack on the flanks of these already engaged spearmen. Either pull them back or commit other troops in support. Left click the show me how button to zoom to your unit. Oh yeah, we're gonna support them, don't worry. Enemy cowards run! Drive them from the battlefield! Alright, onagers, we don't need rocks at this point. If your infantry are about to be charged by cavalry, oh, yeah. yeah, I am running into my archers. The enemy flee! Chase them! F yep, there goes the general. There goes their other commander. Let's wipe these guys off the map. Yeah, there's spearmen chasing them. I think they're gonna make it off the map before I can get to them. Named character and yeah, just a captain. Yeah, they made it off. Orders complete. Victory. 1014 deployed. 942 remain. There's barely anything left of those Romans. Killer of the day, Heavy Cavalry, number 12 at 158. Seems like whoever the 12th unit is seems to do the most damage. Glorious victory! My liege, attack! Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. Wow. Peasants? Really? Who shall die this day? All right. Oh, looks like the Eastern Rebels have uh, sort of to spread a little bit. He's dead. Can you hit him? Oh, success. That's what happens. Gotta make a gutsy call. By your will. No more moves, sir. No more moves, Don't need him sire. sitting back there anymore. That seems to be the trouble here. Public order, taxes, and squalor. Well, that stuff is really expensive for a city that's way hidden in the back. to be doing well. Let's start building some ships. Mighty General, move out! Who shall die this day? Moving to position. I want to know where that diplomat went. I obey. No more moves, sir. Just don't see him. Navy. 
My liege! Attack! Nah, we don't have enough yet. Actually, I think we do. Let's take Sidon. Now, we should be able to uh, take him out. Victory is near at hand! If all do their duty on my orders! All right. Now, we do have siege equipment. Let's put it to good use. Speaking of which, where are my... Oh, my energies are way down there. Units, move out! Units, move out! All right, the goal here is to use the siege tower, or our onagers, to smash down this gate. That will let us in, we can ram the gate, and everything should be good from there on out. Siege tower! Siege tower! Units, fire at will! Cavalry! Cavalry! Units, fire at will! Stand and fight! Units! Units, use fire! Units, These walls are very strong. If you want to make a breach, you'll need to concentrate all your artillery fire at the same point. Oh yeah, we're going to concentrate all of our artillery fire. We'll probably burn something down in the process, but yeah, it's okay. are destroyed. I used almost all of our ammunition, but smack down the walls. You onagers, you've done your work well. Units, forward! Yeah, we burned down a couple buildings in the back there, but not the end of the world. Siege towers have reached the walls! Now the enemy cannot hide behind these pitiful walls! Oh, they won't be hiding. Cabaret! Units! Units! Forward! Once we get inside, we're gonna need to figure out a way to get to the town square. Which is 
on the other side of the map. Your soldiers have broken through the gate! Now order them on and hound the enemy! Really hoping that we can take that avenue down there, around the governor's palace. My hope, anyway. Once we actually get men inside, we'll be able to see a bit more. Right. Looks like there's a path down that way. Alright, we've got the war party heading on inside. The gates are down. Spearmen, don't even worry about it anymore. Alright, get everybody out. Spearman, what I would like you to do is capture that tower. Alright, or... Fine, you can go ahead, go up your tower. Or you're gonna hit the glitch. Fine. There is a glitch in this game where, when they're holding siege towers, sometimes units get stuck. Spearmen! It is unfortunate. Your men have taken the walls! Now the way to your victory is clear! Units group! Units Now that we've got everybody in off the walls. left are peasants, so not overly concerned that they're going to put up a big fight, but I'd rather not lose more men than I need to. strategy with this was to try to see if they could wait us out, and hopefully it would take too long for us to reach the city center. I mean, with, I don't know how many peasants they have. Where are you going?
death, so we gotta get him quickly. By the gods! The enemy general was a fool! He sacrificed himself rather than leading his men to a dignified defeat. Victory is sweet indeed! And all the sweeter for being so decisive! Hardly much of a fight on that one. 942 men deployed, 927 remaining. Killer of the day at 28, our heavy infantry. And Sidon is ours. Glorious victory! Settlement captured! Our troops here. Excellent. I, great lord. They weren't too attached to that thing anyway, which is good. yet, but that's okay. Work on building roads. That way we can get around the Empire a bit faster. My eyes are yours. I'd like to know where that large army went. Moving. None shall see me. Just keep an eye out there. Want to know where that giant mass of troops went because it could be trouble. Looks like the Western Roman Empire is having quite a good time over there. Let's take a look and see how everyone's doing. All factions. Well, Sassanids doing pretty good. We're moving on up in the world. Eastern Roman Empire is on the decline. Certainly. Who's this down here? Not the Huns. Let's see. Ostrogoths? No. Who else could be? Vandals? Aha! Almania. Al Almani? Almani. Something like that. They seem to be doing pretty well. Military ranking, we are starting to edge up there, close to rivaling the Eastern Empire. Already surpassed the West. Production ranking, Western Roman Empire is tank, East is tanking. Territorial ranking, we are slowly building our way up. Financial ranking, though, is this the hunt? Vandals, yeah. Somebody's been pillaging. <laughs> Someone's been pillaging a lot. Population, we are slowly starting to grow. All right, so we're number three, going to overtake Rome, the Eastern, or I'm sorry, the Western Roman Empire. Hopefully, here in the next few turns, they actually raise taxes a little bit there. These towns along the coast are starting to rake in some money. Now that we've got a firm grip on getting out onto the Mediterranean. Eastern Empire is in big trouble. Their empire has been halved again. They've got pieces of it here down in the northern Africa area, but the bulk of their forces remain in modern-day Turkey and Greece, so don't need to necessarily push this far in, but I would love to take what's out here in the desert. Just continue to push in on them. 
Meanwhile, they've got the Eastern Empire rebels that are continuing to wreak havoc and make things a little bit easier for me. So, let me move my, my spy eyes here. Are yours. I think I've already got an agent there. Flying. Move one into Jerusalem. Give myself a little bit more line of sight. Never did find Who that uh, diplomat up day. there. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for me here for tonight. We've got some really good battles taking three settlements along the Mediterranean and pushing back the Eastern Empire. Thank you so much for watching. If you missed any of the first three episodes, I've got those up in full HD on YouTube, so definitely check those out. And we will do another show here, uh, the fifth installment of our Assassin and Stories. Look for that coming out here next week, probably in the Monday or Tuesday time frame. So thank you so much for joining me for tonight. Have a good night, and we will see you next stream.